Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tracy, and if you don't know me, I have a passion for upcycling and I teach sewing on here. I know I have been MIA on YouTube and it's been a while since I've posted my last tutorial. Last year was a pretty hectic year. I was moving, traveling, getting back into dancing. Last year, my big goal was to just grow my social media accounts and work with big brands and I achieved that. So thank you guys so much for making that possible. This year, my goal is to focus a little bit more on YouTube and make more tutorials for you guys because I know I've been like neglecting that. I wanted to share the process behind one of my biggest projects last year which was making a couple of wedding looks for my friend Berenice. You guys probably know her as Banulus on social media, so she's an amazing sustainable stylist. I love her maximalist style. She does it in such a sustainable way with thrifted pieces. She's a very close friend of mine, so we went ahead and just collaborated and created two looks for her that I'm so excited to finally share the process behind. I also ended up making my dress for her wedding. I was so happy to celebrate her special day with her. I hope you guys enjoyed the behind the scenes of making all of these looks. Hey guys, so um, it's been like a couple weeks since I've been working on these garments. This is how far I've gotten. Tool skirt just took forever, but it looks beautiful and yeah. I need to hand sew this applique that I added just because I didn't like how the tool ruffle looked because um, it kind of looked unfinished. So I'm just going to add some more applique and I'm just going to hand sew that in place. I do need to order some lace trim because I, I want to add it to the tiers. So I want to add this like lace ruffle to the hem of the corset. So I'm going to do that. Let's get back to sewing this. Hey guys, so um, right now you hear the coffee machine going um, because as you can see, this is like off-white and I bought lace to add to the tool skirt, but it's still too white. Um, it looked different in the store <laughs> and there's like so much yardage because I got like 30 yards of the lace and then I got 60 yards of the Pico trim for the hem. Um, so we're gonna dye it because I'm not happy with it and it's more work, but it's okay We're gonna hope this works. I normally would test it out, but I've done like coffee dyeing We have the alum bath ready. Um, we need to pre-soak this before it goes in the alum
tulle skirt's finally done. Man, it took a while to sew that thing. 60 yards of like elastic trim and like 30 yards of lace on here. So much trim just sewed onto it and three layers, but it turned out beautiful. So I added the ribbon to the waist and here's the corset. I was able to applique the lace on top of the tool. Went ahead and already started rhinestoning the corset. So I do need to buy more because I've already used a bag. Friend Anastasia was so nice enough to just come help in rhinestone. So I'm gonna have her like finish rhinestoning. Hey guys, we're finally almost done with like the last and final piece for Berenice. Just finished draping it. I'm so happy with how it turned out. And yes, this dress is gonna be completely like sheer and lace. I already went ahead and made the sewing pattern. Now I can go into the fabric and I'm kinda nervous. So we have the sheer net that's going to be under. So the beaded lace can just sit on top of and this is like soft against the skin. This is the most expensive fabric I've ever worked with. Um, it's hand beaded, like Italian lace. It is absolutely stunning. I only have a yard of it. Kind of nervous, but um, my pattern's good. Everything should be perfect. So yeah, let's go ahead and sew it. Hey guys, it's the next day. So yeah, I already went ahead and cut everything out and sewed it together as you can see. And it took forever to just like cut out the beads from the seam allowance because it's so intricately beaded. But Anissa is on her way and I have to like go ahead and base lace fabric to the net so I can go ahead and fit her and make sure this dress is going to be like perfect on her. For this dress, I'm thinking of doing like as you can tell, I'm gonna put more applique around here and just give her more coverage. Down here, I'm gonna add more applique as well and it's gonna be like completely full of leathers and rhinestones. I didn't really have a concrete design for this, so I'm kind of just going with how I feel, but I absolutely love how it looks so far. I'm gonna get back to work. So much look at that get yourself so a Tracy in your life <laughs> or get Tracy in your life you need you need a bridal look like this for your wedding
Hey guys, so last night I spent the majority of my time penciling that scallop portion of the lace applique that I cut out and it took me like an hour and a half just to sew the front and I was up to like midnight doing that so um, it'll be a lot more sewing applique today. Um, yeah, I got a lot more applique to cut out and just like hand sew it so I think that's my goal for today. See how much we get done because hand sewing everything on is like a whole thing. A little exhausted, I just had breakfast. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and just start working. Second fitting and look how beautiful it is. <laughs> Tracy working her magic. This is so beautiful. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Just got back from dancing. It's like 1 a.m. Like one piece of lace that I didn't finish sewing before I left to go dance, but I have energy now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and then go to bed. And then most of the lace is like applique. <laughs> Hey guys, so today we're gluing the feathers onto this dress. 
I got half of them like glued last night. Um, I'm mixing like the peacock feathers and these feathers as well. I don't have time to individually like hand sew each feather. So what I've been doing is just like dipping one end of the feather in glue and then just sticking it into one of the beads in there. The wedding is next Sunday. So um, my goal is to finish this dress tomorrow, hopefully. And then um, I can start on my dress because I need something to wear still. <laughs> so yeah, back to gluing a lot of feathers. I'm gonna make my dress for the wedding. I printed out my asymmetrical dress pattern and I'm going to cut it out, but I'm gonna make the skirt longer so it's like floor length. And I'm using this melon spandex fabric and as you can tell, it's shiny. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out.
guys enjoyed the behind the scenes of making these wedding looks for Berenice, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really is the best way to support your favorite creators for free. I will be coming back with more sewing tutorials this year, so I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.